Okay, so I feel here that <clears throat> you're either dealing with a situation where you feel you have been cheated or lied to or you have been deceived or I feel like a trickery situation. You could either be doing this to your partner if you're in a partnership or somebody doing this to you. But I feel like you have uncovered something and you wanted to uncover something. You, you've done what it is for you to do to uncover something. To discover actually this or... This is actually going against what you have wished for. This situation or this yeah situation is leaving you unbalanced in so many ways. Although in your mind you have decided to close this cycle and move forward. Still you did wish to have a better, let's say, a better closure. I feel like you're either going to cut communication with somebody or somebody is cutting you out of their lives. Somebody who you felt could be a soulmate in the past. You felt like you have given everything to this person. Or this could be you actually. This could be you. Um, tricking or, or doing anything to this potential partner or partner or relationship or friends or this could apply uh, I mean it depends on your situation as well something was really founded before but it wasn't really equal give and take there is a lot of uh, I feel like a lot of manipulation somehow so one of you could reach their end or their their um, personal satisfaction. Yeah, and this is leaving you heartbroken. I mean, you're very fearful to not really recover from this or... But it seems like to me here... I will have to clarify a few things. <clears throat> yeah, the fact that you are actually realizing that this person is not for you or you and this person are not getting along or you dropping down your... Yeah, I feel like there is a lot of possessivity or a lot of like protection either you wanting to protect this person or wanting to own this person but I feel like you're deciding to let go of this kind of ownership and this will actually free you in so many ways it's freeing your energy you are putting so much energy into something that is not working the way you want it to work so gather on your strength, although if this hurts, gather on your strength and be the knight of wands and be f free. Because it feels like here, although you really want to just let go and move forward, but you're holding on into something like if it was your own. Yeah. Definitely, it feels like, I don't know, you want to make a point about something. You know that this situation is not serving you and you want to let down your swords and leave, but still, you still can't let it go. You have to let it go. It is not serving you in many ways. Either for you or for this person. Please keep an open mind. This could be you doing this or your partner or potential partner or the person you're you know, that is um, holding this energy could be doing this to you. Okay, so now please bring in the energy of the person who wants to inquire about. 
could be the same person, could be somebody else, could be a potential partner, an ex, whatever, a crush. And we're going to be doing a love spread, potential love spread, using the Romance Angel cards. I'm gonna keep this here and see okay I'm gonna be clarifying these cards with the Witches Tarot by Ellen Dugan okay. yeah I feel like now Gemini Ah, you've been so deceived that you are wanting to, for those of you who, ha who have children, you're wanting to concentrate your life around your children and because this is where you find ultimate happiness. This is where you, you are feeling good because it feels like you have not given enough energy or enough time or you have not been doing anything for for them for a very long time for those who have children for those who have who doesn't have ch children and are single or i feel like you could be now taking a, st a new step into doing something either for children um in the benefit of children or bringing this childhood or youth energy in yourself and trying to work on bringing yourself to this you know um carefree youthful spirit in order for you, in order to take yourself out of this um you know energy but i feel you have to this is what you want this is how you feel but you have to take action. It feels like it's difficult for you to take action, but you will. There is definitely a new start, something new, young, fresh coming for you. Uh, your partner or potential partner feels like you had a past life relationship together. Could very well be with a water sign. Someone that is committed or that wanted to commit or has been committed in the past to you or is already committed to someone else yes uh, for most of <laughs> for most of you could be as well a third party involved i don't want to be very specific here because there is a card of friendship here as well card of celebration could be a third party as well but there are some commitment or yeah commitment or contract yeah commitment issues perhaps a marriage third party situation i don't know so one of you is wearing a false mask this is the potential between you two this cannot i don't feel it could work Definitely one of you is wearing the false mask and you know who it is. Could be you or could be that person. This person is very fiery, has a very strong energy. Hmm, perhaps a, a mother or a father, but this is come this this is going this is ending this is coming into a completion so yeah one of you has to free themselves from the other because this is very this is not going anywhere you have to release your ex it says as an advice it is time now to clear your energies of your ex even if it seems like your ex has everything that you have wished for in the past but those cups were not serving you. 
at all. Yeah, there is definitely an ending, a balancing between two situations. Could be also a Libra. Something is crumbling. And there is a destruction here, but it is for your best interest. It is to help you to set your new beginnings. And it says very, very soon you will clearly decide what you want to do and it's going to come to you now definitely now you feel like perhaps a little bit confused and not knowing which direction to take in order for you to move forward but this situation is involving a marriage or a commitment and maybe when you're going to clear this situation you are going to find happiness within your marriage or within a commitment you have already uh, you have already or as soon as you're going to clear this energy, you are going to be able to find a partner who are you going to commit with. But all the hard work that you've been doing and all the hard work that you've been uh, spending over this person or this relationship, spend it now into clearing your energies and decide what you want to do and take action. Yeah, definitely. Cutting up the old and starting new. Clarity, communication. That's it. You're going to either cut communication or you're going to be clear on what it is you want to do and move forward. Definitely, you're going to take on the energy of the Knight of Swords. And this could be very well you as well. Okay. So now we are going to use the Osho ta uh, Tarot cards. I'm going to be asking the cards to give me three uh, sorry yeah asking the angels to give me three cards that can apply to a specific situation of yours gemini okay at the bottom of the deck we have flowering okay so we're gonna see how this applies to you slowing down isolation and guidance it's exactly what we've been saying in the past uh, on the on the previous spreads you have to slow down you have to cut what has not been serving you because you're guided into a divine destiny where you will be flowering and where you will be blossoming this situation has been draining you in so many ways i feel a lot of possession i i don't know why i have this feeling of being possessed or wanting to possess something that it's against what it is against what against what uh, huh, against your best interests okay so definitely here an ending a transformation yeah and you have to take the time so you could be dealing with the scorpio as well with sagittarius you have to take the time to heal and to be patient and give yourself what you need to receive instead of seeking this from the outer world okay here you have the five of cups perhaps now you feel very sad of what it is of what you are going through right now but here you just have to look behind because you are just leaving an obsession you're just leaving your shadow your dark shadow You're leaving something toxic for you. So believe in the process. Yeah. Take on the energy of the King of Swords. Be very realistic. Use your brain rather than your feelings. And you would know that this is for your best interest in order for you to 
succeed and move forward okay so now we're going to be asking the healing angel cards to give you a clarity on what it is you need to work on to heal yourself okay <clears throat> Please show us what is your guidance for Gemini. What does Gemini need to heal in order for them to move into the next level? Gemini. As I said, you have to go inwards earlier. And there is a beautiful card here that and it is meditation so you have to go inwards you're gonna find a bliss an enchantment while meditating because this could give you answer and clarity and peace of mind and really reconnect with your inner self it says here also friendships so this situation could apply to your friends as well or you could be using your friends to just help you overcome your emotional uh, entanglement right now you just need to ask okay so now please if you have any specific question I want you to pause this video for 10 seconds and think about your question i'm going to be shuffling the cards and once you're ready play back the video there is if you're meant to receive an answer then there is definitely a guidance here for you if you're not meant to receive the answer then it's okay please believe and trust in divine timing as well okay so once your question is ready At the bottom of the deck, you have a big no. And here the card says the situation will improve. So what I don't know what you have asked for. Each and every person has a different scenario and situation they're going through. So please take on these uh, answers and apply them to uh, your situation and if this does not resonate with you it's okay it's not the right time for you to know the answer at your question just meditate as has been advised to you earlier meditate and you will be guided through your meditations look for signs because you're guided by the angels 